Hey everyone! Today we're diving deep into a topic that's close to my heart. Well, closer to my kidneys to be exact. We're talking about kidney health. These little bean-shaped organs work tirelessly, filtering waste and toxins from our blood like tiny little warriors. We gotta look out for them. Now, you might be thinking, what could possibly harm these amazing organs? Well, believe it or not, even some commonly prescribed or over-the-counter medications can have adverse effects on kidney function. In this video, we'll be discussing five common medications that can potentially impact your kidneys, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or other risk factors. Remember, this isn't about scaring you, but about empowering you to take control of your health. So buckle up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's get informed. One, NSAIDs. If you're like me, you probably reach for an ibuprofen or naproxen at the first sign of a headache or muscle ache. But here's the thing about NSAIDs. They can actually reduce blood flow to your kidneys. Think of it like this. Imagine your kidneys are like a busy city with lots of traffic flowing through. NSAIDs can act like roadblocks, slowing down that vital blood flow. For most healthy individuals, this might not be a huge issue. But for those with pre-existing kidney disease, older adults, or those taking high doses long-term, it can put extra stress on those hard-working kidneys. Warning signs include a decrease in urine output, swelling in your ankles and feet, and fatigue. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have any pre-existing conditions. Opt for the lowest effective dose and avoid using them long-term unless absolutely necessary. Remember those kidneys are precious and we want to keep them happy and healthy. Two ACE inhibitors. Those tongue-twisting medications often prescribed for high blood pressure and heart failure. ACE inhibitors are generally safe and effective for most people, but they come with potential side effects. And our kidneys are sometimes caught in the crossfire. ACE inhibitors work by relaxing blood vessels, which helps lower blood pressure. Sometimes this relaxation can also reduce blood flow to the kidneys. This reduced blood flow can be a bit too much for those with pre-existing kidney disease or our amazing seniors, Keep an eye out for those sneaky creatinine levels. If its levels start creeping up in your blood tests, it could be a sign that your kidneys are struggling. Regular checkups with your doctor are crucial, especially when you're first starting an ACE inhibitor. They'll monitor your kidney function closely and adjust your dosage or medication if needed. Communication is key. If you experience any unusual symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. Three, diuretics, flushing out fluids, but at what cost? Let's move on to diuretics, those popular pills that help us bid farewell to excess fluid. Diuretics work by flushing excess fluid out of your body through urine. While this can be a lifesaver for those with high blood pressure or fluid retention, it can also lead to dehydration if we're not careful. Dehydration isn't the only concern with diuretics. They can also disrupt the delicate balance of electrolytes in our body, like sodium, potassium and magnesium. Symptoms of dehydration include dizziness, lightheadedness, and dry mouth. If your electrolytes are out of whack, you might experience muscle cramps, weakness, or even irregular heartbeats. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before starting any new medication, especially diuretics. Regular checkups are crucial, especially if you're taking diuretics long term. Your doctor can check your electrolyte levels and adjust your medication or recommend supplements if needed. Stay hydrated like it's your life's mission. Remember, those kidneys are counting on you. 4. Proton Pump Inhibitors PPIs, taming the stomach fire but sparking kidney concerns. Let's talk about those stomach soothers, the Proton Pump Inhibitors or PPIs for short. PPIs work by reducing the amount of acid produced in your stomach. Recent studies have shown a potential link between long-term PPI use and a condition called interstitial nephritis. Interstitial nephritis is a fancy way of saying inflammation of the kidneys. The exact mechanism of how PPIs might contribute to interstitial nephritis is still being investigated, but it's thought to involve an immune system response. Red flags include a decrease in urine output, swelling, particularly in your legs, ankles and feet, and fatigue. If you're experiencing frequent or severe heartburn or acid reflux, consult with your doctor to determine the underlying cause and discuss the best treatment options for you. If PPIs are deemed necessary, your doctor will likely recommend the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible to minimize the risk of potential side effects. Remember, those kidneys are your tiny but mighty filters, and we want to keep them happy and healthy for years to come. 5. Antibiotics. Battling infections, but sometimes befriending kidney trouble. Let's tackle the double-edged sword of the medication world, antibiotics. 
These powerful drugs are lifesavers when it comes to fighting off bacterial infections, but they can sometimes pack a punch to our kidneys. The main culprits we're concerned about are certain classes of antibiotics, like aminoglycosides. Think gentamicin, tobramycin. These bad boys are super effective against certain bacteria, but also more likely to cause kidney damage, especially when used in high doses or for prolonged periods. Signs and symptoms include decreased urine output, swelling, especially in your legs and feet, and fatigue. Don't demand antibiotics for every sniffle or sneeze. Antibiotics are only effective against bacterial infections, not viral infections like the common cold or flu. If you are prescribed antibiotics, make sure to take the full course as directed, even if you start feeling better. This helps prevent antibiotic resistance and ensures that those pesky bacteria are completely eradicated. Regular checkups with your doctor are crucial, especially if you have pre-existing kidney disease or are taking antibiotics long term. Kidney care. It's in your hands. So there you have it, folks. Five common medications that can potentially impact your kidney health. Remember, this video isn't meant to scare you, but to empower you to take control of your health and have open, honest conversations with your healthcare providers. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before starting or stopping any medications, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or are taking multiple medications. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more informative and hopefully entertaining health tips. And remember, sharing is caring. Spread the word and help us empower others to prioritize their kidney health. Until next time, stay healthy, my friends. My.